Wireless Visual Information Solutions in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, I was out at the Esri UC last week. I got to saw a lot of see a lot of neat things. Um, a lot of neat stuff going on in the GIS industry. It's always exciting to come back from the Esri UC and, and kind of think about all the neat things that are going on and draw inspiration from it. Uh, one of the cool things I saw out there was the rise of image services. Uh, so I think that we're really at a point right now where image services are starting to play a bigger and bigger role. It's getting easier and easier to access imagery. And we've also got more imagery coming from more places. So we've got, uh, you know, we've had uh, some awesome satellites that have been up in the air for a long time and aerial imagery coming from a, vari a variety of different sources. And then we also have uh, UAVs are really on the rise. And, and I think a lot of people in the industry see the potential for that. Um, so, but with all the, the imagery that's out there, the expanding uh, you know, data stores of imagery that we have, um, we've also got the opportunity to share that more and that's getting easier as well. So um, as all this stuff comes down from uh, the various platforms that it's being collected by, it's being collected on all these servers. And I think that this is a, an interesting problem to have. It's a good problem to have because what we have is an overabundance of data and we want people to be able to use it. So this stuff is all being able to be disseminated uh, to the end users um, a lot more quickly and a lot more easily. So that was one of the things I saw at the Esri UC that I just, it kind of blew my mind the way we can now start to plug these image services into our desktop applications, into uh, our web applications, and we can view it across platforms. So um, we talk a lot about this in the industry, but it's really true, and I saw it firsthand this week at the Ezra, or last week at the Ezra UC, where we're now able to access this stuff on tablets, on phones, um, and wherever we want. And so a um, couple good examples of that. We had a professor that had a couple of image services hosted um, on some computers in his lab, and he asked us if our NV software could uh, ingest that. And yeah, we've got a remote desktop connection, and we pulled his image services in from their lab, and wow, just like that, his image services of uh, the imagery that he has hosted on their lab, in their lab, or in our desktop, and he can work with it um, and do any sort of an analysis he wants. And uh, in a similar way, we had some folks from, from Digital Globe show up, and uh, we've got a couple of uh, web applications that they were able to plug their stuff into really easily. And, it's just really neat right now. So um, if you're interested in reading a little bit more about that, please read my blog at excelsviz.com. Thank you.